Greetings, YouTube. Joe here with Colonation Media, and welcome back to the very next episode of Banjo Kazooie. This is episode number 23, and we are here outside of Treasure Trove Cove. And if you head through this tunnel that's lurking in the water, which is surprisingly difficult to find because I passed it so many times and didn't even know it was there, there's a grove over here with Brentilda. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt. At which school? Hmm, Cauldron Butt, huh? I also know that Sweaty Gorilla Feet is her favorite smell, and mine too. We have so much in common. And the old hag's favorite color is Gruesome Green. Yes, the same color, ironically, as her skin. LOL. Anywho, this grove over here is important, not just because of the Ikumbokum, and not just because of the Brentelda location, but this is also where we unlock the last world of the game, Click Clock Wood. It's going to be one problem, though. Seeing as how there's nothing else in this room, as you can see here, we've explored all of the nooks and crannies. There's no jigsaw pad for us to stand on, which means we can't complete this puzzle. Which means we need to hit a switch that's going to unlock the pad for us to stand on so that we can unlock the picture to unlock the world, if that makes any sense. And it's all the way back near Rusty Bucket Bay, so I'm going to cut out while we go back there, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so we're almost kind of, sort of, ish there. Sort of, kind of. Now nah, we're there. We basically need to go up instead of going towards where Rusty Bucket Bay is. If you just surface here and don't get blown up by that mine, there's a note door that's up here. Ah, I missed that because I suck. I suck at life. There we go. Alright, this note door is going to cost us 640 notes. Well, it doesn't cost you any notes, but yeah. Anyway, there's a Ikumbokum up here somewhere. There it is. I knew I saw you there somewhere. We actually have to come through that entrance or exit in order to get it. So we'll be doing that in a little bit. And unfortunately, your chances of going through here without getting hit are very slim. So I suggest using the golden feathers to get through here because you can kill all these things and it just makes your life so much easier. Oh, look a bull. That's not random at all. So there's a couple of things that we have to do. Hey. You are not allowed to be faster than me. That's not an okay thing to be. Yes, that sentence made a lot of sense. No, no, we're not doing this again, Mr. Bull. Get away from me. Anywho, there's a couple of things that we can do before we um, actually do what we came here for. The first of which is to unlock this cauldron right here, which is going to take us all the way back. And I don't know if you remember where that is, but it's near uh, Clanker's Cavern, and there's a little secret... Uh, entrance exit thingamajiggy over there if you don't know what I'm talking about then just forget I said anything or test it yourself and stop being so lazy there's a Brentilda location over here it's one of the last ones of the game if not the last one yes her favorite pastime is disgusting oh fabulous this poor guy called dirty birdie was her first and only boyfriend dirty birdie oh look at the gruntlings arms waving up and down that is awesome this is weird Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Yeah, I forgot she, that she fills up your energy if you get hit. No, stop it. Just go away. Stop waving your arms at me, you pig meanie. Okay, so this is going to be the entrance to the world up here, but as you can see, we haven't unlocked it yet. Just making sure there's nothing behind here because it wasn't sure. Alright, well, I guess the next thing to do is to go up because there's nothing else down here but an angry bull. A mean, angry bull. So you just climb up the leaves, nothing crazy. If you go through the 765 note door, uh, that's going to take you to the end of the game, so I'm not going to be worried about that right now, because I want to actually do Click Clock Wood. Technically, with how many jiggies and notes I've gotten, I can go to the end of the game, but I don't want to do that. There's the switch that's going to let the uh, puzzle be completed. And yeah, we are good to go. I don't want to waste those feathers, so I'm jumping over them. Even though they respawn, I seem to have this thing against wasting. See? Look. Just avoid all the eggs. Sometimes I hoard them, sometimes I don't. There's the Ikumbokum I was talking about before. Oh, Grunty, shut up. Stop talking. Just stop talking. I always try to see if I can, like, get to the other side where this switch is, but it never works. I don't know why. I fear- I feel like- Yeah, I can't talk. 
I feel like one day that's just going to work. I forgot there was a Jiggy over here. So I'm going to grab that and pretend that that's what I was trying to do the whole time. Works for me. That's the ninth Jiggy of Grunty's Lair. So there's only one more, which is kind of strange to me. But, oh, look, a wall. Okay. Okay, I thought I got stuck there for a second and that the game glitched and I was about to be really mad because I don't even know what I've been doing the past, like, five minutes. Yeah, so you can just unlock that or break that down. If you need a golden feather, there's one hanging out over there. And this is going to take us all the way up to where I was trying to reach where that switch is. And it's going to raise the water level for a limited amount of time. And by limited, I mean very limited, only 30 seconds. So you have to know where you're going. And thankfully, I do for once in my life, I know where I'm going and what I'm doing because I'm just that, that cool. Yo, not really. That was a complete lie. So basically go like you were going to Rusty Bucket Bay and you're going to go and make a sharp right turn. Sharp right, not left. And just go to the top for the surface and you're good to go. And we made it with a couple of extra seconds. And this is going to lead us up to the last Cheeto location. Baron Bird getting good at finding Cheeto. So another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck. So in the burning fire, I'll chuck. She doesn't ever chuck Cheeto in the fire, by the way. One, because Cheeto is freaking badass and he could just never get thrown in a fire. And if he did, he would survive. And I, the only reason I know that is because if you've played Banjo-Tooie, he's still in the lair. Like, the whole lair is destroyed and he's just hanging out there. And it's like, yes, Invincible Cheeto. Right. Okay, so I guess we can go uh, to unlock Click Clock Wood and then go to Treasure Trove Cove. So let's uh, skip over that part for now. Okay, let's unlock Click Clock Wood first because... I feel like it. We don't actually have to do this in any particular order. I don't know if I'm even going to make it to Click Clockwood in this episode at this rate. I've wasted a lot of time, I feel like. Or just rather underestimated how much stuff I had to do before I could actually enter the world. There we go. Click Clockwood is unlocked. Fabulous. Alright, now we're off to Treasure Trove Cove. For one last trip into the sandcastle to unlock the golden feathers cheat, quote unquote. I don't know if you can really call it a cheat, because normally they don't give you cheats in the game, so I don't know what to call them. They're kind of like, just like bonuses, honestly, instead of cheats. Anywho. Oh yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, one of my buddies on YouTube. His name is Guzzinator. We'll find him uh, commenting in several of the videos on my channel. He's someone that followed me uh, quite a long time ago, like before my channel got hacked and shut down and we re reopened. And uh, he just messaged me earlier today, and it was really cool to hear from him uh, because he's been following me since the very beginning, like over a year ago. So, welcome back, sir. It's nice to have you. Oh, Leaky, you always just know exactly what to say. Once you shit in his face, like always, good times, the water will drain and we can get into the sandcastle. Yet again, it's going to be the last time. Because we there's just no more cheats. Which means we don't get to see Cheeto anymore, either. Which really is just so sad, because we're going to miss Cheeto. We just haven't seen him enough. I feel like he should be a more important character. But they really didn't make him a more important character. Not even in uh, Banjo-Tooie, which... I didn't really understand. But oh well. Goodbye to Cheeto. And obviously we're typing in gold feathers here. I may have already said that, but half the time I don't even know what I say, so. Yeah, fair enough, right? This cheat, like the other cheats, is going to give us double the amount of golden feathers, so since we can only normally carry 10, it's going to bring our stock up to 20. Which can be really helpful because uh, as far as the ammunition, quote-unquote, goes, the Golden Feathers are the ones that get depleted the quickest because you can only carry such a small amount of them. Anywho, moving on. We're back in 
the Click Clock Wood area here, and we're finally entering the world, and when you first enter the world, you get into this, like, hub-like area with the four seasons surrounding you, um, and doors that lead into the seasons. So this little small area here kind of acts like the hub world for the world, if that makes any sense. The world that we're going to be starting in um, is the spring season. So first you need to hit the switch that's going to unlock the door for that season because that's how it works. Because you just do what I tell you to do. No, but you need to go into each season in a certain order and find the switch that will unlock well, that will unlock the next season that you have to go to. So that's basically how it works in a nutshell. We're going to pick up these couple of notes that are just hanging out right here. It'll probably be the easiest notes of the entire world. Uh, and that's where we're going to stop. In the next episode, we're going to enter the spring season and get started at last with the last world of the game. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for part 24. Game on.